let us solve now exercise 2.8 of course the first question is very easy form the quadratic equation if roots are given alpha and beta are given we have to form the quadratic equation by using this find out the value of alpha plus beta then find out the value of alpha beta substitute in this equation and you will get the values I will quickly just tell you what it is the first the values are given phi and minus 7 phi and minus 7 pause the video solve this example alpha is phi beta is minus 7 the answer is x square plus 2x minus 35 equal to 0 x square plus 2x minus 35 equal to 0 I am not going to solve this simple examples second alpha is half and beta is minus 3 by 4 roots are half and minus 3 by 4 find out alpha plus beta then find out alpha beta substitute in the formula and solve the example this is very simple example we have solved many examples like this pause your video and do it the answer is 8x square minus plus 2x minus 3 8x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 example 3 the given values are minus 3 and minus 11 minus 3 minus 11 pause your video and quickly solve this find out alpha plus beta alpha beta substitute you should get the answer pause your video here the answer is x square plus 14x plus 33 x square plus 14x plus 33 equal to 0 let us see next one the fourth one is minus 2 and 11 by 2 minus 2 and 11 by 2 again pause your video solve this I'll tell you the answer the answer is 2x square <coughs> minus 7x 2x square minus 7x minus 22 equal to 0 fifth one half and minus half 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 pause your video and find the answer the answer is 4x square minus 1 equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation when you get these two roots sixth 0 and minus 4 do it pause your video and do it the answer is x square plus 4x equal to 0 now I have shown you very quickly it was no point of me to solve such a simple examples after solving so many examples very simple you just had to find out alpha plus beta just simple arithmetic calculation and then substitute alpha plus beta and alpha beta in the given equation okay and you will get the quadratic equation shall we go ahead to the second question question number two first one in question number two they are given six roots that means six different examples what they are done they are given one root okay which is in form of root sign irrational numbers and you have to find quadratic equation now when one root is given in this form let us see the first example if alpha is equal to 3 minus 2 root 5 then immediately you should come to know that beta is 3 plus 2 root 5 conjugate of each other okay now question number 2 of 
2.8 here they are given only one root they are given only one root and they have asked us to find the quadratic equation but the one root they have given is let us see the first example is 3 minus 2 root 5 we have solved these kind of examples as soon as you come to know that the alpha is 3 minus 2 root 5 you should immediately come to know that the second root must be the conjugate of this that is 3 plus 2 root 5 all the examples in 2.8 question number 2 are similar to this I will solve just first example not all examples okay let us try this how we will find alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is equal to 3 minus 2 root 5 plus 3 plus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 will get so you will get 6 alpha beta when you say this is multiplication it is just like a minus b a plus b so we will have a square minus b square so 3 minus 2 root 5 and 3 plus 2 root 5 so we have it is just like a minus b a plus b so it will be a square plus sorry a square minus b square so it will be 9 or rather not skip the step better so we will take 3 square minus 2 root 5 square so we get 9 minus 20 that is minus 11 so now you can substitute this these two values here and you will get the required equation that is x square minus 6x x square minus 6x minus 11 equal to 0 this is your required equation so I don't think I should solve again this because everywhere you have to just find out the values of alpha and beta it is straightforward the second root will be the conjugate of the first and you have to find out alpha plus beta alpha beta and substitute there let us discuss this further the second is they are given 4 minus 3 root 2 this is the one root what will be the second root 4 plus 3 root 2 and you will get alpha plus beta find out alpha beta and substitute there you will get the quadratic equation I will give you the answer for second the equation is x square minus 8x minus 2 x square minus 8x minus 2 equal to 0 is the answer check it with your answer let us go to third one third one is root 2 plus root 3 root 2 plus root 3 is the one root so what will be the second root root 2 minus root 3 it is a conjugate root 2 minus root 3 so pause the video and solve this answer for this is x square minus 2 root 2 x x square minus 2 root 2 x minus 1 equal to 0 fourth one fourth one is the one root given is 2 root 3 minus 4 2 root 3 minus 4 what will
will be the second root the second root will be conjugate of this that is 2 root 3 plus 4 pause your video and solve this the answer for this is x square minus 4 root 3x x square minus 4 root 3x minus 4 equal to 0 minus 4 equal to 0 let us see some more fifth one is the one root given is plus root 5 so what will be other root conjugate of this is 2 minus root 5 so pause your video and solve this alpha plus beta alpha beta substitute there and find out the quadratic equation answer is x square minus 4x minus 1 x square minus 4x minus 1 equal to 0